big developments, big time growth and more jobs all touted today by the mayor of Fishers in his state of the city address and ahead of some big changes there and what the mayor says could be a big problem. RTV6's Mike Pelton takes a look tonight at Fisher's future. Well, here near 116th Street and I-69, you'll see a lot of construction trucks. IKEA is nearby. Topgolf is right there behind me. Both are slated to open up in the fall and will bring a lot of fresh faces to Fisher's. 14 years, the owner of Sunrise Cafe in Fisher's. Uh, when we make everything from scratch, Scott Horsfield is anxious for IKEA and Top Golf to open just down the road, telling me the increased traffic might boost profits by 10%. But well, we've been looking forward to it for the last two years, and I would say come fall, uh, I hope we're ready. But amid the excitement and all the construction comes a small side dish of skepticism. Many new restaurants coming into the area, and even if people try them, you're, you're taking away from the ones that were here all along. The market will have to test that out, but I think uh, Fishers is growing both in population and in just people coming into the community to do commerce. And, and I think there's a bright future for everybody. At the State of the City address, Mayor Scott Fadness says long-term sustainability is the biggest problem facing Fishers. Jobs and infrastructure are key. The mayor touts the commitment of more than 1,500 new jobs last year and calls Fishers a city that caters to both residents and entrepreneurs. They want a dynamic place to go out to eat. They want walkability. They want, um, you know, interesting cultural things to happen in their city. And so I think uh, doubling down in those particular areas uh, sets us apart to some degree. Fishers recently proposed a new bike and walking path that would connect to Noblesville. The city will host a new Internet of Things lab, and Fishers is also overseeing improvements to State Road 37. It's probably uh, grown even more than we thought. And Scott has a front row seat to a city changing far more often than his menu. We were going into a uh, business area that's turned into a business slash retail slash just big time growth. And while construction is underway over at Ikea and here at Topgolf, the mayor tells me he is confident the city will be able to manage the increased traffic that will come when those businesses open up in the fall. In Fishers tonight, Mike Pelton, RTV6.